Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. What we're doing today is I'm going to do a review of the Shinko 777 tire. So I bought a 22 Lowrider ST and uh, I already kind of burned through the back tire. And it's got about 6,000 or so on it. And uh, it's down to the wear bars. So it's kind of an odd size and apparently that tire currently is about 320 bucks for like a Michelin Dunlop whatever name brand. And the Shinko is like half the price. And I know a lot of people give Shinkos a bad rap, but I figured, you know what, for half the price, it's on the back. Probably the worst it'll happen is it'll just wear out too fast. But uh, we'll give it a day in court. So, contact Lowbrow, pick me up a uh, Shinko 777. So, here goes the review on it. So, initially, we're just going to do uh, an unboxing, and then we're going to mount and balance it on there. And I'll give you an initial review of the thing. And then after that, we will, uh, I'll stop back in or make another video or something like that with a long-term review of the bike, or the tire, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, we'll see how it holds up. I'll let you know mileage-wise, let you know how it does in the corners, the rain, the whole nine yards. So, check out this video and stay tuned for more. So first things first, let's pick this sucker up here. The first impression, it's round, it's flat, comes with lowbrow stickers. Put these off the side. So here we have it. So here we have it. Shit goes 777. Uh, this is a 180 65 on a 16. Uh, technically, the tire that came on the bike from the factory is a 180-70 on a 16, but we're going to go with just a wee little bit less sidewall, um, maybe give me a little more corner clearance, simulate a lower gear ratio, which might come in handy in the future, and uh, also just what they had in stock. So, right off the rip, seems like quality tire. It's there. It's round. Everything looks like a normal tire. Um, no real complaints. First things first, if you get a new tire, you want to check the date code on the thing. And the date code is the manufactured code. It's a four digit number that's embossed in the sidewall somewhere. And I always encourage people to do this to make sure it wasn't sitting in a warehouse for like five years and then the tire is hard and about ready to dry rot. So this is, says 3322, so it was made in the 33rd week of 2022. So. It's only a few months old, as it should be. So with that, uh, I'm gonna say, squeaks. I'm gonna say initial impression, looks like a pretty good tire. Has decent tread depth, good pattern, looks well made. Let's mount it on there and see what happens. So there it is, with about 1,500 miles on it. Still got a really nice shape. Had it out in the rain the other night, was sawing at the throttle on it, it like, 35 and second gear tire didn't break free and it was ran like mad thing sticks pretty well matter of fact sticks so well or the front tire for the bike too so see how long they last that's really the big unknown right now